Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectors. And today we get to add some games to the Dreamcast collection. I'm about 46 away from a complete North American set. And once I do finish that set, I don't think I'm gonna stop there. There's probably gonna be a little bit of variance, maybe controllers or VMUs I may grab, but we'll see that when we cross that bridge. I was perusing the 400 flea market, a local flea market in the area. I came across a booth that had three Dreamcast games that I needed. And normally whenever I come across a booth or a show or anything like that, I never really find games that I need. When you're getting close to the last bit of games, finding a game that you really need is getting harder and harder, or trying to get a good deal on it is even harder and harder. So when I came across this booth, I came across three Dreamcast games I didn't have, and I was actually really excited to add them to the collection. First off, Unreal Tournament. Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX. and pod speed zone. Three more games added to the collection, and I couldn't be happier when I was leaving that flea market. I was just dumbfounded that I was able to find something for a wicked deal. I offered him $30 for the three and he took it, and I was so happy. A few weeks later, I went up to the cottage for the Labor Day long weekend, and I went to the local store in town, and I found three more Dreamcast games that I needed for the collection, and I was actually really amazed by this selection of games. The three games that I did grab, I paid $100 for the three, a little bit over my budget as far as what I really want to spend for a few games, but I did get Tom Clancy Rogue Spear, Roadsters. Bada bing. Pretty booby. An out trigger. Good job. 
Now, over the past couple months, I've been doing the eBay route. There's a lot of games that are left on my collection, and the last couple games aren't that bad in pricing, but the price has gone up on more common games. But the more rarer titles have stayed in the pretty much staple price range, which is kind of surprising, because I would have thought the more rarer titles would have gone up more extensively, but I found a lot of the common games to go up more than I would actually ever want to pay. But when you're going for a complete set, you do have to go for those games anyways. So while I was going the eBay route, I find and flip a lot of stuff to try to compensate the pricing of these games, whether it be rare or common. I came across two games, one of which I got a couple weeks ago, and you may have saw on Instagram, and that's Gunbird. It's a vertical shooter, and I've played a little bit of it, and it's a lot of fun, really hard, a lot of continues went through this game, but it's a very fun game, and I'm really excited to actually add this to the collection. I can't wait to play this again and actually capture footage for an upcoming video when I'm gonna be doing it. And lastly is a game that I've been watching for about six years. It's one of my holy grails on the Dreamcast. Something that I wanted for a long time because I've never played it and I heard so much good things about it, but I never got a chance to play it. Even seeing it in person was kind of something that I've never come across. I've gone to countless shows and even some countless booths and vendors and I've never been able to see it. And if I did come across it, it was something that I couldn't bear to price, but I've never really seen this in public, maybe in my first couple of years of collecting, but I never got a chance to actually pull the trigger on it. And that's Power Stone 2. I heard so much great things, and I know Power Stone 1 is a fantastic title, and I cannot wait to play this at home with my kids and show them what couch co-op really is. When I say this was a grail, one of my first titles that I wanted for the Dreamcast was Samba de Amigo, the complete box set. And I have that, but this game was something that was always a run on gag that I can never find and never see for a good price. And now I was able to grab it with the help of eBay and flip some unwanted stuff that I had around the collection. So like I said, I have 46 left and some of these games that I have left are not that rare per se. Some of them are a little bit harder to find but not necessarily rare in the scheme of collecting. The games I have left are a lot of commons that have shot up in price and the asking price of them on eBay is ridiculous. So to try to come across a good deal in person is a lot harder nowadays. But 46, I should be done hopefully by year's end. I doubt it, but the Dreamcast collection is never done. I may try to find the different variances, Sega All-Stars, or even some controller variants, or even some DMU variants. I will always keep on putting some content about the Dreamcast. I hope you guys are enjoying the content on Dreamcast. If you guys have any questions or comments down below, please put them down. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys played any of these games? And if you did, which one is your favorite? Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.